Bob the Builder, Scrambler and the Off-Road Race. It was a lovely day in Sunflower Valley and the team had a new job. We're building a barn for Farmer Pickles, announced Bob. Scruffy was excited. Ruff, ruff, he barked as he raced around Bob's legs. But Bob didn't have time to play. Scrambler was excited too. He really wanted to help Bob and Wendy. What will I be doing? he asked. Bob shook his head. I'm sorry, Scrambler, he said, but there isn't really a job for you to do. Scrambler was disappointed, but then Bob had an idea. There is something you can do, smiled Bob. You can take Scruffy for a walk. But that's not a proper job, said Scrambler sadly. Yes, it is, replied Bob. You'll be keeping Scruffy safe. The whole team was excited about building the barn. Can we build it? Scoop asked. Yes, we can. The machines all cried. Uh, yeah, I think so, added Lofty. But poor Scrambler said nothing. He trailed sadly off to walk Scruffy. Scruffy ran on ahead, panting excitedly. Ruff, ruff! Scrambler followed slowly. He felt miserable. I can't believe I'm walking a dog," he grumbled. "I thought I was going to get something important to do." But when they got to the woods, Scrambler found he was starting to have fun with Scruffy, especially when they played hide and seek. When it was Scruffy's turn to hide, he ran off instead. The little dog didn't understand how to play the game. Back at the site, everyone was working very hard. Lofty was helping Bob and Wendy set up a wooden frame for the walls and roof of the barn. Dizzy was pouring concrete to make the floor, and Rolly was rolling it flat. Scrambler and Scruffy chased each other until they found themselves in a beautiful valley, full of twisty paths and ditches. "Wow!" exclaimed Scrambler. "Let's have an off-road race!" "Ruff!" barked Scruffy, running ahead. The race was on. The team had been busy all morning, and now the outside of the barn was completely finished. Excellent," said Bob. "Now we need to build some shelves for Farmer Pickles to store things on. We'll need to concentrate," said Wendy. "It's a good thing Scruffy's not here." Scrambler and Scruffy were having the best time ever. They raced over rocks and through streams, getting very mucky. "Ruff, ruff, ruff!" Barked Scruffy, running through a hollow log. "Wee!" cried Scrambler. "You can't catch me!" At last, Scruffy landed in a big muddy puddle. Splash! Back at the barn, work was finished. Bob and Wendy were having a rest and a cup of tea. "I wonder where Scrambler's got to with Scruffy," wondered Wendy, looking around. Just then, Scrambler rumbled up. He was carrying something in his trailer. Scruffy's asleep," said Scrambler. "But I'm not tired." He tried not to yawn. "See, dog walking is a proper job," said Bob, lifting Scruffy from the trailer. "And you made a friend." Scruffy woke up and licked his new friend's nose. "Ruff!" Making friends is wicked," Scrambler grinned happily.